All right, so I wanted to start off first by looking at some of these FireWalla devices. I was going to kind of do a different kind of series on this, but apparently my Palo Alto failed and I need to get it replaced. So I figured I'd just show us a little bit about the two FireWallas I purchased not too long ago. I have here the FireWalla Purple, it's 329. This is a small version. And the Firewall of Gold. So the Firewall of Gold is the one I'm going to be using for my network. So when you open the box, you'll see here we have a nice little get started item here. Cybersecurity awareness. Think before you click. Think before giving personal info. Keep your software up to date. Use smart and strong passwords. Watch out for unusual requests. So it's always a good idea to keep um, those few things in mind. It says to get started to go to firewalla.com slash install. We're kind of already here, uh, but what I wanted to take a look at first and foremost was the Firewalla Purple. It's a gigabit cybersecurity firewall and router with Wi-Fi. So that's cool. Um, I'll be setting this up in a second video and probably intermingling the two because I really need to get my home internet back online. But as you see here, it's, I mean, it's really small. It's a really tiny box. And you'll see here it only has like two ports on it, I believe. So uh, we also have the Firewalla app that I'll have to download and install. I'll get my phone hooked up to uh, the camera here so we can go through that as well. It's got a built-in VPN server and client, uh, one gigabit DPI, dynamic content filtering, monitoring control, router and transparent bridge mode, content and policy-based routing, which is cool, network segmentation and lockdown mode, Wi-Fi tether and hotspot. So this might be one of the good reasons to get this all by itself. And uh, I do have um, a different TP-Link device that I'm going to talk to us uh, talk to you about as well. I also have the Firewall of Gold, as you see here. This is the multi-gigabit cybersecurity firewall and router. Doesn't look like this one has Wi-Fi. Keep in mind the uh, Firewall of Gold has an original and a Rev B. The Rev B is the one I got. I'm guessing it's just updated hardware. Um, we'll have to look into that. Uh, this thing does a lot of the same things the Firewall of Purple does, except it gives us a little bit uh, faster speeds, multiple WAN connectivity, and a smart queue, which is pretty cool. So uh, we'll be able to block unwanted ads and do all the other safeguards. As you see here, we have three plus gigabits per second. It's a router. It does network segmentation. I'm guessing this is just simply VLANs. Uh, but we'll go through that as well. Uh, the firewall uh, security stack, as we saw before, it does all of these things here. Uh, might come in handy for the site-to-site -site and uh, client-based VPNs, intrusion prevention. That'll be really nice as well. And of course you have your visibility control and protect uh, within the app. So I'm really hoping they have the ability to manage this on the network and not just through the app, but we shall see. Um, rules, smart queue, routes, if you wanna you know, specify different routes for different WAN providers. Da, 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 da. All right, well, four routable gigabit ethernet controller, four gigs memory 32 gig ssd it's a quad core cpu fanless aluminum and hopefully we'll actually see some of these uh, gigabit uh, per second rates because that's currently what i have with cox communication all right so let's start to get into this we'll open it up it's a pretty neat and a pretty small box as you can tell i mean it's actually pretty tiny. I thought it would have been larger considering the box compared to the purple over here. So you're gonna see we have a console port, 
and four other ports available to us. We'll have to see what that console port does and why this one is yellow. I'm guessing that one might be PoE. Other than that, there's not a lot else to it. On the back, we have an HDMI out and a USB port with a dongle in it. And underneath that, it looks like we may have another one. So this is a Firewalla USB drive. I'm guessing this probably holds the iOS or something like that. But yeah, that's, that's kind of it. I'll have to go through the documentation to understand what these do. Uh, it does not say what they are on the case here. But we do have a nice little fan design there. Adds a lot of surface area to, uh, to cool the thing down, I'm guessing. Because this thing probably gets really hot. Alright. Over here in our other box. I'm guessing this is just power supply, maybe a couple of additional cables. Uh, Alright. Screws. Guess we can do like a... Uh, Screw this into the wall, I'm guessing. We have our regular power cord. I believe that's a C13 or C14. Anyway, it's a typical, typical three-prong power cord. And we have a little brick here. Da Jing, interesting enough. This thing supports an input of 100 to 240 volts at 50 and 60 hertz. One amp max. So you can put it in, uh, in the States or anywhere else in the world with the 240 volt. And it only uses one amp. So that's not bad. The output, of course, is 12 volt and 3 amp. So it takes the voltage down and ups the amperage a little bit. So... We'll get this thing plugged in and see about you know, how to use it. <laughs> All right, so let's close this stuff up. They didn't provide a network cable, which I thought was kind of odd. The firewall of purple. We'll just run through this really quick. It's probably the same thing, just a little bit smaller, you know. Okay, cyber uh, security awareness. We got another one of those cards. It wants us to go to firewalla.com slash install. So let me just do that really quick so that's on the screen. If I can type properly. So you can install a specific box. Apparently there's a Wi-Fi SD. That's interesting. The uh, red, blue, blue plus, and of course I got the purple and the gold. Keep in mind they are just releasing the uh, gold plus. You might want to look into that. So the purple here, it's more of a plasticky box as opposed to the aluminum on the firewall of gold. This has a USB-C power instead of, uh, instead of a brick, so you can probably power this thing with a laptop. There's also, it seems to be a little SD card here. A USB port, I'm guessing that's for the Wi-Fi connectivity, but apparently you have to install a separate connector for that. And this one is pretty simple. It has a LAN port and a WAN port. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory and easy, right? I plan on using this, like, on the go, like when I travel. Or I might give it to one of my content creators so we can have a VPN back in here into Entraz. Since hopefully uh, we'll be able to do that pretty easily. Very nice. All right. Let me plug this in, and we'll see how it goes. So install gold. If you have any problems, 
installation troubleshooting help at firewalla.com apparently you have to download the firewalla app so I will be getting that on the Apple iPhone and uh, I'll be showing you that Apple setup as soon as I get it up and running okay so the the yellow port we saw on the firewall gold is the default WAN port so it has full fully routable Ethernet ports except port 4 is used for the WAN so technically you're losing one but I guess that's not fine uh, that's the WAN port in router mode default port for simple DHCP mode which is really good because like Cox Communications is who I use and my home internet is a DHCP connectivity rather than a static IP the serial console can be used in future to access the console okay so that's a future option all ports have desk covers leave the cover on the gold will always power on by itself when the power is applied so yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't stay powered off so even though you have an on off button here it will power itself on when you apply the power so keep that in mind as well let's see security dongle interesting HDMI power button is used when you want to shut down the unit long press for five seconds red security dongle with the firewall logos plugged in it is used for box pairing and activation if you want to switch the dongle to other USB port you may for example use the Wi-Fi SD I believe we do have two USB ports here so let's see if I can open this up come on yep I have two USB 3 ports here and the, the cover wasn't attached so it's just a simple cover let's put that back in apparently we need this for pairing and activation interesting reset button can be used for rebooting the unit it is not for factory reset interesting and of course HDMI is not used for the moment passively cooled place the unit in wall vented area wire up the box if you use it as a main router set it up in router mode you can add to an existing network be interesting I wonder if this has a pass-through mode or just acts kind of like an IPS or IDS bump on the wire type of thing recommended router mode I'm going to have this as my internet edge router so that's what I'll use it for you have an ISP provided integrated modem router as you'll see here you can connect the modem router to the gold to an access point we can talk about that later if we need be mesh network so there's a lot of scenarios in here in case you have different types of connectivity or different types of systems so if uh, you like this video and you think the firewallers are cool make sure to check this out look at the install help page and uh, it can show you a, a lot of information in here like facts configurations device groups rules segmentation use cases uh, they have a beta web interface that'll be cool hopefully that works and you don't always have to use a phone for it okay we have the yellow and white are ground screws and the black are spare interesting I don't remember getting a mount with this but I'll have to verify but yeah if you want to check out Firewalla, make sure to look at the installation guide. Uh, look at all of the different things it does, like uh, smart queuing, uh, intrusion prevention, security, all that stuff. And we'll go through that as soon as we get this up and running. Bear with me a few minutes. I'll get it plugged in, and we'll be checking out the uh, interface on the App Store.